The parasite Plasmodium falciparum is responsible for most of the world's malaria cases. It has evolved in concert with its human and mosquito hosts and displays a complex life cycle that alternates between the two. An infected female mosquito transfers the parasite to a human when she takes a blood meal. The parasite, in the form of sporozoites, is injected with her saliva, which contains an anticoagulant that promotes a steady blood flow. The circulatory system delivers the sporozoites to their target, the liver. A sporozoite enters a liver cell and begins to feed and grow. During the process, the parasite's nucleus divides many times, and then the nuclei bud off to produce thousands of new plasmodium cells, now in a form called merozoites. About a week later, the merozoites burst out of liver cells and enter the bloodstream. In the bloodstream, the merozoites infect red blood cells, where they again reproduce and burst out of the infected cells. The resulting merozoites can infect other red blood cells, yielding a cycle of infection and eruption. Malaria is characterized by repeated bouts of fever, each of which correlates with the synchronous release of merozoites from a population of red blood cells. Some of the infecting merozoites develop into sexual forms called gametocytes, which are either male or female. In the life cycle of Plasmodium falciparum, gametocytes become large oval structures within red blood cells. The gametocytes do not harm the human host, but when a mosquito takes the gametocytes into its gut during a blood meal, these cells initiate the next stage of the Plasmodium life cycle. In the mosquito's gut, the gametocytes escape from the red blood cells and develop into male and female sex cells called gametes. A male and a female gamete fuse to produce the first cell of the next generation, the zygote. The zygote matures into a motile cell called an oakinete and migrates to the wall of the mosquito's gut where it develops into an oocyst. Inside the oocyst, cell division occurs to produce many new cells, again in the form of sporozoites. The oocyst ruptures and releases the sporozoites, which migrate to the salivary glands. From the salivary glands, the sporozoites can infect the next human host and repeat the plasmodium life cycle.